one. My friend, it was bound to happen. We're saying goodbye to the V8 engine in the Ram 1500. Why was it bound to happen? Ford still has a Coyote and uh, Chevy says that they're going to continue building uh, another generation of V8s, Andre. Why is this? Uh... Well, yeah, why? Why? That's, that's a good question. But anyway, <laughs> whatever the reason, uh, this is the last of the Ram V8s. And so we thought, let's do a video saying goodbye to the mighty Hemi, Andre. Yes, and this is uh, a beauty. This is a 2024 Ram 1500, of course, with a Hemi, and it's a Rebel, and it has almost every option. I think it's missing one option. So when we bought ours yes. back, what? How long ago was that? Like four, five years ago. Five ago. We paid like over $50,000. I saw the Monroni on this. It's much more, Andre, and we'll tell you how much in a second. But first, let's show them some of the goodies that this truck has. Well, first of all, on the business end of this truck, it has a Ram's very fancy tailgate that's actually coming back for 2025. Um, for 2025, Ram is redesigning this truck and it's going to have all six cylinder engines. There's going to be a V6 Pentastar and twin turbo uh, straight sixes as well. And this has the swing out barn tailgate. It has a step, you could climb up. You can climb down. Can you hang on that gate? Uh, I can even hang on it. And oh, that's pretty strong, dude. Because I know this, you don't weigh, uh, you know, less than uh, two hundred. I, I I weigh more than some uh, elephants. The an no, the answer is Roman. I weigh less than you do. That's the answer. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've been gaining a little bit. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, let's keep going and let's show them what makes this so special, and that is what's under the hood. You want to pop it, Andre? Yeah, let's pop it. Yeah. So this is the e torque, and if you recall, we also had the e torque, and this is what. Um, you know, is affectionately called a mild hybrid. Yes, and it helps with certain things like start-stop, some smoothness, a little bit of power delivery, uh, but it's you cannot run this truck on electric mode only. It is a mild hybrid system, and we did not see any efficiency gains on our truck when we used to own it. Yeah, and to be fair, like, you know, Ram kind of stuck this mild hybrid system on top of the motor. Many of the manufacturers actually put it between the transmission and the motor, which is probably a more elegant engineering solution. This yeah. seems like something that, that, you know, you're gonna spend a lot of money changing belts on eventually. Well, I mean, ours, we put a lot of miles on ours. Yeah. Um, it was pretty durable. We actually even lifted our truck when we used to have it, but- How, how much horsepower and torque are we talking about? So still 395 horse and 410 pound feet of torque. And of course, eight speed automatic is here. All right, well, let's look at the uh, payload. Is it a lot? I'm gonna take or a, little. I'm going to take a guess. So a good number would be like, what, 1,500 pounds? Yeah. I'm going to say it's less than that. I think you might be right yeah. because we have a lot of options. Ooh, 1,148. Oh, that's not, that's not a lot. But That's it, like four of us. It's fully loaded. And at the end, of course, we'll drive this truck. We'll let you hear it. And also, um, you might be surprised by the price. Yeah, yeah. Well, why don't you start up? Let's, All let's, right. let's not... Leave them waiting. I'll take my mic off. We're saying goodbye to the Hemi. We're saying goodbye. So a farewell, uh, a farewell growl from this Hemi. does sound good Andre I, I will miss that I, <laughs> I will miss it and you know once upon a time uh, Ram was kind of the third place truck leader of the big three and uh, by the way if you're wondering where we're at we're in Detroit aren't we we are in Michigan and we're and in full field yeah and uh, why are we here uh, because well, well I don't like it's to a say secret. it's a secret you'll see it next week uh, and why are we at full field because it's beautiful here it look nice, it's, yeah. it's a park yeah like I was saying once upon a time Ram was kind of in third place with you know Ford and Chevy fighting it out for truck dominance, at least half-ton truck dominance. But then this was built, right? Look at the interior. There's they nothing they reset the bar. Yeah, there's nothing here that a luxurious German car doesn't have, including a brake controller. Oh, never mind. It, no, it most have. German cars do not. But um, they introduced many technology over the years, a trailer steering assist, where you could back up a trailer using just this knob. We had it on our TRX. Air suspension, you've got parking sensors, tow home mode, of course, all this. Um, 
the controversial knob for the shifter. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the knob, but it does free up space for things like... Well, you could, this would also free up space, right? But that's old-fashioned. Yeah, now, right? and, and now ours didn't have this. It's a full digital display um, here in front of me on the gauge cluster. And, of course, a 12-inch screen over All here. Right, well, let's, you know, our friend Motorman likes to play the options game. Do you have the uh, Monroni? Yeah, I do. All right, let's, let's play the options game uh, while we're sitting here. And uh, I'll, I'll let you guess... And you at home playing as well. Tell me the base price of a crew cab Rebel. Fifty nine thousand three hundred. Okay, well that's not too bad. All right, so the Technology Group adds a thousand dollars. Okay. All right, the Night Edition Andre, which includes two way power lumbar adjustable passenger seats. So I have lumbar support also? as well. Yeah, I don't know why that's the Night. Eight way power driver and passenger seats. Eighteen inch by eight inch gloss black wheels. I guess that's the Night package. Uh, that is two thousand dollars. Level Ram Level Two Equipment Group. Oh, uh, what does that include? Uh, door colored handles, accent colors, uh, two-way power lumbar. Yada yada yada. Second row storage bins. Nineteen speaker Harman Kardon. Heated front seats. Heated steering wheel. Should I keep going? How much do you think all that is? Uh, Brain sensor Twenty five hundred dollars. Four thousand four hundred ninety five. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, here's an expensive one. How much do you think the Hemi option is in the uh, uh, with the uh, with the e torque. Oh, because it starts with the V six, doesn't yes. it? Uh -huh. um, I want to say the Hemi is about three grand. Very good, three thousand forty five. Yeah. Okay. Spray and bed liner, six hundred dollars. Blind spot cross path detection, that's another six hundred dollars. Multi function tailgate, Andre. Ooh, is that like two thousand? It's a thousand. How about the four corner air suspension? Two thousand. Very good. Yeah. And when you add all that up, here's the number you get. Look at that. That is a staggeringly high number, $83,735. Uh, whoa. 19 MPG combined. Uh, yeah, 18 that, city, 22 highway. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, that's a lot more than we paid. Yeah, prices are growing. And by the way, uh, I recently drove a brand new Rebel, the 2025 edition with a, tw a twin turbo straight six. There's a video of it at altfl.com. And that one was also the same price, Roman. So they haven't lowered it, is what you're saying. They haven't lowered it, and they haven't raised it much, but they added horsepower and torque, of course. Uh, well, should we go for a drive? Yeah, let me put my seatbelt on, and uh, let's go for a final drive. And it's fitting that we are here at the home of the big three, as well as the home of Ram. Well, Sterling Heights are not far. Yeah, to do this to do this kind of, you know, a do a video saying goodbye to this truck. Now, I've, kind of, I've kind of been flippant and making fun, but I really like this truck, Andre. I mean, it's super comfortable. Uh, it's very powerful. And, and actually, Whoa. you know, 19 MPG is not horrible for fuel economy. So I was making kind of light of that. Uh, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's, you know, it's of, of the par for the course for these trucks, right? Yeah. Even the new Toyota Tundra, even hybrid, the, the new Toyota Tundra hybrid, even that truck is probably around the same area as far as fuel efficiency. And ironically, here in Detroit, because your roads are so bad, you Michiganders, you need a pickup truck with, <laughs> with suspension. With big suspension and Bilstein shocks and nice. These are Duratracks still, and they're still using Duratracks. Hey, this is a pretty bougie part of town, wherever we're Yeah, where, where, where is this? I don't know. There's a lot of bougie cars here. <laughs> okay, well, we're in a bougie truck. Yeah, we are in a bougie truck in a bougie part of town. I think, is this downtown? Are we close to downtown Dearborn? Let us know in the comments below. We don't know where we're at. <laughs> How does it drive? It's wonderful. Yeah. And because we're not at high elevation, this thing screams. I know. I, I forget how much power we lose up in, you know, 5,000 feet above sea level in Denver. And then you come down here and uh, it just, you have to completely reset your mind as to how quick uh, and how responsive uh, these trucks are. Ooh, that house thing. looks haunted. It looks like a, yeah, it does look like a haunted house. Holy so God. here's here's a question I would like to pose. Yes, go for it. Um, are you guys upset? Uh, are you guys upset that the Hemi is gone? And here's the flip side of that. Uh, 420 horsepower is the new twin turbo base three liter straight six so you you will you'll have 25 more horsepower in the turbocharged engine the new one and you will have 469 pound feet of torque uh which is quite a lot more than this v8 so do you think people will miss this engine i guess they have to drive the new one 
uh, you know, there's so much uh, love for the Hemi uh, that it's like an old, you know, favorite dog. You'll never replace it with a new favorite dog until you actually are ready to go there. And I think a lot of people aren't really ready to go to a straight six twin turbo, even though Ford, to be fair, with that 3.5 liter EcoBoost has been doing, you know, twin turbo six cylinders for, oh gosh, 10 years now? No, no, they introduced it in 2011. So it's like More 13, 13 years, 13 years yeah. now. Wow, yeah. So you, you would think at this point people would be ready to, to say adieu to the V8, but Ford is still building the Coyote, uh, and, you know, these guys have gone cold turkey on V8s. And GM is, they said they invested in V8s, and then recently they said they also want to do hybrids, right? Uh, because, you know, the switch to electric, uh, all electric trucks is going to be way slower than anybody anticipated, right? Um, and adoption is pretty is slowing down a little bit. So I, I would say this. I've driven the new straight six twin turbo. Yes. I, I love it, but it doesn't have the same sound. I love all everything about the turbocharged engine except this. When you accelerate and you hear that twin twin exhaust pipes just blaring. Yeah, there's something you know about that kind of lopey burbling V8 that just uh, says America, you know, and I think a lot of people feel that uh, no matter how good a V6 or a straight six will never say that, and certainly an electric truck will never say that. But at some point, you know, times are changing, Andre. It, it's what we all have to live through. So uh, I'm curious to see if when people actually start driving them uh, and, you know, start experiencing, because look, you buy horsepower, but you drive torque. Uh, and that straight six twin turbo has a lot of torque, right? Oh, a lot of both. A yes. lot of both. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, and then we'll see how it tows. You know, we'll see how it uh, hauls. Off, off roads. And how it off roads. So, yeah. Whenever you know, there's that cliche, that is nice. I love that acceleration. <laughs> there is that cliche. You know, when when you close a chapter, you open up another chapter. Uh, yes. And, and that's where we're living through right now with uh, Ram. Uh, so, guys, let us know in the comments below. Are you sad? Are you excited for the future of Ram? Um, and uh, anything else, Andre, before we close this video? Well, that's about it. I, I would say also, as, I cl as we close, I would hesitate to pay, pay 83 for, for this truck, even though well, I love it. It's cheaper than that G-Wagon. <laughs> you didn't see it. Whoa, yeah. yeah, I see it. So it, no, it's no. a matter of perspective, I, right? <laughs> yes, but... Uh, I wouldn't get, I think, I, I would skip on some bells and whistles. I, I think I really appreciate this truck. I love it. I, I think 83 is, or above 80 grand at least, it's just, there's something about it. It's Look, just, it's just parking. Uh, yes, come it on, will park itself. It will park but itself. But, but it, won't, it, won't, it doesn't have a sunroof. But what is the panoramic roof? Yeah, I know. How, that, how much more would that be? Another oh, 2.5K oh, oh, probably? Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's getting expensive, dude. Yeah, yeah. And here's the irony, Andre. Everybody is you know, upset about how expensive trucks have gotten. And yet somebody's buying them because they wouldn't build them if you guys weren't buying them. Right. All right. Well, uh, let us know what you think. Uh, check out oldtfl.com for everything we do all in one place. And we'll see you next time. Ciao.